Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So today's video is going to be all about how to defeat this Elza Bloodstone. First things first, she's quite an easy opponent herself. The node is annoying, that gives her a lot of uh, opportunities to wait. Uh, but she does not really have any immunities and only debuffs she can shrug off are the non-damaging kind. Therefore, Archangel is a perfect champion to fight up against her. Now, one kind of quick note is... Uh, when fighting Elder Bloodstone, you can rely basically on your parries, drop a medium attack, and then drop a heavy. Basically, she will never wait, and you can pretty much use any champion to do that. So now we're going to take a look at a Stark Enhanced Spider. No, sorry, that's <laughs> Symbiote Spidey. Uh, but anyway, so as you can see here, we parry, we drop a medium, we heavy, and she will never away. That is by far the easiest way how to keep a track on what kind of hits you have landed. And it's a very kind of easy strategy to use any champion whatsoever, uh, like in this case, a Spider-Man symbiote, to deal with this Elza Bloodstone without much issue. Now, she will be shrugging off your armor breaks from symbiote Spidey, but that doesn't really matter. Just the main fact that she does not away and you are able to deal with her using pretty much any champion so just remember parry uh, medium heavy that's kind of like your go-to goal now you do have to be careful because she can occasionally shrug off your parry stun so you do need to keep an eye on open on what's happening but it's an extremely easy way how to deal with her now if you do not want to kind of like force yourself and struggle yourself then there is a plethora of champions that can take on elza bloodstone really easily and uh, namely let's say ghost if you keep to phase one hit combos all of the ghosts critical hits cannot be evaded therefore you have absolutely no problem uh playing against this Elza Bloodstone just with like your one hit combos like you typically do against Spider-Man. Obviously you can still throw your special attacks, she's not gonna away those. It's a super easy fight, just remember stick to one hit combos and you're good to go. Now uh, when it comes to special attacks, special one takes a bit of timing to uh, await. Initially I did not feel confident enough so I just took everything in a block. Later on I started to await those as well. Uh, but yeah, it's not too tricky, it's kind of like two shots and then she dashes in at you. Uh, might need a bit of practice to get it done, but then again, it doesn't do an absurd damage in the block, therefore you don't have much to worry about, obviously. So now we're moving on to next set of champions that can easily deal with Elza Bloodstone, and in this, this case, it would be pretty much anybody that has True Strike. There is one thing that you do have to be careful, that only champions that inflict bleed against Elza Bloodstone pretty much can be mutant champions. Any non-mutant champions that inflict bleed will cause you to degen and get heal blocked and you're gonna have a bad time overall. So whenever you're up against Elza Bloodstone and you're not using a mutant, just be careful that you do not try to bleed this girl. Uh, but aside from that, we can see that Karnak has an easy access to True Strike, while True Strike is active, all evades are failing, and you have absolutely nothing to worry about there. If you do run out of, kind of your True Strike before you manage to refresh it, just drop a couple of heavies, get a bit more power, uh, then again, drop your level 1, and yeah, even a Karnak can deal with this lady uh, fairly easily. As we can see here, we haven't taken a hit, all her weights are failing, and we're just dropping her down steadily. Now, I probably should not have used my level 1 there, because uh, I wasted most of its duration uh, by waiting out Elza's special animation, but it's not a big mistake. As we can see here, she's nearly dead, and we are doing just fine. Also, pretty much all the champions I use in this video are like rank 3, Five stars or four stars with the exception of night treasure just because i don't have low well i don't have any other version of night treasure but he's gonna be in here and yeah another champion obviously that is natural uh at dealing with uh Wade's is Iceman. Now this is going to be a fairly sloppy fight just because I'm recording these uh, quite late in the evening so I did lost, lose my focus there for a bit. Uh, but the base idea is while you have Frostbite, frostbite on opponent, opponents can't wade and you can attack them normally as you would. If you run out of Frostbite once again uh, just drop a heavy or something in the middle get a bit more power, drop that level 1, and you're going to be good to go. So you have, if you have decently sized Iceman, you shouldn't have much problem with Elza either. Very good counter, class advantage, stops evades, and quite easy to kind of cope. 
I am still a bit shocked that Iceman isn't frozen by the moon himself, but hey, as we can see, it's ticking away at us. But we would manage to kill her, her on time here. Another thing to note definitely is that Elsa Bloodstone, even though she's a skill champ and you have class disadvantage, she does not have any abilities that prevent you from simply going in there with Quake, awaiting all of her attacks, ignoring all of her abilities, and just sitting in your corner and quaking her down. Even a 4-star Quake will be sufficient. You can also do parry her attacks if you choose to do so uh, but obviously it's always easier just to avoid everything but yeah you can just heavy parry her as well without much of a hassle and yeah so as we can see here quake is taking her down slowly but surely i'm not going to show all the fight just because uh yeah we i believe have seen enough so i'm going to cut the clip off short uh here in a second and then afterwards we're just gonna move on to our next uh champion suggestion i suppose which is night rusher because night rusher has access to true accuracy starting the first hit of the fight none of your skateboard attacks can be awaited also while she's under stun obviously and you we can we win there a light attack because it is not a consecutive attack in between your mediums so you basically can just go parry uh, medium light medium and do that all over again and she will never await your attacks and obviously your special attacks and heavy attacks are also safe from await now there i was a bit too focused on uh, showcasing the fact that all the awaits are failing uh, that i forgot to refresh my incinerate but you guys get the point uh, that yeah night rusher is a fantastic option against this elza he's sturdy uh, he can prevent her awaits and yeah you don't have much to worry about in that fight now the last fight that we do need to take a look at is corvus and corvus also even as a four star has absolutely no problems dealing with this girl especially if you pick up a wade mission along the way if you don't don't worry you will have plenty of chance to do it this fight uh, but yeah four star corvus and proxima for that matter as well can deal with elza easily so uh that will pretty much do for today's video i hope this video helped out you guys uh if you are struggling in uh, defeating this uncollected boss if this video was of any help to you then be sure to hit that like sub button hit all the buttons and i'm gonna catch you guys soon see ya